your family? How is your children? I see two people in the family with a big headache, serious headache, serious trouble. Huh? What is going on? My fight. Huh? We are fighting. And I'm not yelling. I'm not yelling what you're saying. What is she saying, please? Too much fighting. They are fighting. Uh, what, what are they fighting for? What is going on? What is she saying? I'm not hearing her. Yes, she's still, uh, she's still talking, sir. I keep saying it is not her name. I don't know. This past Saturday, my cousin was fighting with me. And I was not fighting. So I was talking to him nicely and he decided to fight. He has something and he hit you. The cousin hit, hit mama with something. The cousin told her that she, she won't compete with her. The cousin said he is. She's with Kim and Kim. The cousin is home. Okay. And this mama is poor and he is rich. It was a very serious fight this last Saturday. Yes, uh, let me tell you something. The solution to your problem lies in Christ. The solution lies in our Lord, in our Lord Jesus Christ. So it's not by going to Nyangas, Sangomas, said I'm poor, I'm rich. No. The solution is on Christ. The enemy wants to turn the family upside down. The enemy wants to turn the family upside down, upside down. Please explain to her. The enemy wants to turn the family upside down, and that's make people to go different places to seek solutions. Come on, come on. To start seeking solutions some here and there. Solution is in Christ, including you. You have done many places, you have tried to survive, but I want to tell you the solution is in Christ. From now, there will be peace in your family. All this fighting, this confusion and commotion is a problem. They want to kill somebody. Satan wants them to kill someone in the family as a sacrifice. This is what is going on. But I know our God is able to deliver you. Our God is able to deliver you. Now you have run to him. No one run to him and remain the same. No one ran to him and remained the same. So now that you have run to him, I want you to open your heart. I want you to forgive. I don't want you to go here and there looking for solution anymore. Just believe in Christ. Okay? Believe in Christ. If you have anything beside our Lord Jesus Christ, throw them away. Throw away everything. Okay? Don't go anywhere to seek solution anymore. And you are going to see God will advertise you. God will lift you up. God will lift you up. God is able to lift you up. You are not poor. You are not poor. Can I, can I hear you? Can I hear and say she's not poor? Because she needs to be delivered, you see? This is what is happening. This is what is happening. You can't dance here and the enemy is not exposed. You cannot dance here and the enemy is not exposed. Something is wrong. Going here and there, seeking solution here and there. I see where they're going. They have accused her. They accuse her. There's a lot of accusation going on in the family. Huh? There's a lot of accusation. Prophet. Yes. yes. There, there is a lot of problems. She told me, but now, you know, when the people is there in the church, they are afraid to speak. But when we sit down, there was a big ritual things in his place on Saturday. The bad one. People were fighting there, beating each other, beating him. 
from many, there are big, big, big trouble in the family. Big trouble. Where is she from, Mama? Where are you from? Where is she from also? Oh, from the same, same village. Same which, village. Which village are you from? From Frankfurt. Three states. Three states? Yes. I bring them every time, Prophet, it's me. I bring them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for bringing them. Thank you. Don't worry. The Lord is going to turn things around in her life. And now I it's see me. this is all upside down. Yes. In this, in this fighting on Saturday, they told me, I, they invited me there and say me and the lady were not the people of the ritual because she don't have a place to stay. It's the place of the parents. She must supposed to be there every time they do that ritual. So when they fight... That is what I saw. That is what I saw. I saw to her. That is what I saw. Nyanga seeking solution where there's no solution. Demonic sacrifice. Even herself, she yes. just wants to back out from there. She wants to move okay. out from that group. Yes, she wants to move out from that group. So right now, she must never say what? God is going to turn around from turn things around. But she must never go to sacrifice do that ritual they are doing. She must not do it. She must not do it. She must not go back there. Because that has turned her life upside down. Okay? Children in the family, everyone in the family. Yeah. There's a lot of things going on. But from now, let her throw away all those things and stand with Christ. And God will elevate her. That spirit of poverty, those things that have yeah. done in the family, yeah. from this day, will no longer work. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I invite him in the, in the small time. I, I say to him, we have a prayer maintain at Shakaina. I know you don't have a place to cry when that fighting is. Let's go. I say, don't mind mm. anything. Don't mind money. Let us go to church. And he accepts. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you for evangelizing the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. And from now on, she will see her life change. Her life will change. Thank you. Because she's been crying. She has no way. She goes into marriage. She doesn't work. Thank you. Thank you. It does not work. Thank you. Thank you. Does not work. Huh? From now, you are, even your finances will change. Our finances as well. God will open doors. Doors, great doors for her as well. Okay? But are you that is evangelizing the name of Jesus Christ? You will see miracle happening in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay? So Thank you. Everything she's been, she's, she's, she's been asking God, where do I go? Because I tell you the truth. If you leave her this way, I tell you the result is not good. What I saw. I saw death. I saw death. Because of so many things that I've done in that family. Huh? They are just accusing one another. Oh, you do this, you do that, you do this. Too many things going on. Mm. I was listening. Too many things. I was watching that. When I went into the realm of the spirit, listen, I come to preach. I come to talk to people right now. But as soon as the camera flashed out, immediately the Holy Spirit said, no, something is wrong with this woman. Others are dancing good, but she's dancing another way. She's dancing another way. Huh? But it is over. That chain in her life has been broken in the name of Jesus Christ. That power in the family, I stand and I roll it down. I scatter them in the name of Jesus Christ. She can never hang herself. She can never kill herself. And they can never kill her in the name of Jesus Christ. Her life will change from this day. Pastor, tell her from now her life will change. Man. Tell her, tell her, and, and I, I see she's hearing voices. Because this thing has brought a trauma to her. She's no longer an ordinary person. She's no longer an ordinary person. This is, this is happening to her. I don't want her to say, I don't want people to be saying that she's mental or something like that. Okay? Amen. Let her put her, her, her hands on her ears. She will no longer hear that. Put her two hands on her ears. Okay, hold it there, 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 
Only there. Shout Jesus Christ, I will move it. Jesus Christ. Remove it. Remove it. Remove it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You wicked power. Colonizing her. The entire family. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Pray, Lord. Thank you, Father. Pray, Lord. In Jesus Christ's mighty name.